after weather like this weekend, who doesn't want to roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty in the garden? Today, Rebecca Cole shares some of her favorite garden hacks that will help add a little extra padding to your budget while saving you time and aggravation. Okay, maybe it doesn't happen that way, but it is a good idea to get a good grip on your tools. So this is a great trick I learned when I sharpened my skills as a hockey mom. Using hockey tape or friction tape, we're going to wrap this around the handle just like you would a hockey stick. So start off at the top, just wrap the tape around, and then pull out, oh, about 18 inches, twirl the tape to make a cord. Now on a diagonal, we're going to wrap this cord around the handle about an inch apart. Okay, once you reach the bottom, secure that cord a couple of times, and then we're going to take the tape all the way to the top. All right, once we get to the top, we're going to just go around and make a cap on the end of our tool. All right, so there you go. Look at that. A great grip for your tool. This will allow us to score in the garden. Now you can save a lot of money in the garden if you take care of your tools and anything with a wooden handle, you need to condition that handle on a regular basis. So start by sanding it down lightly and then just take some oil from your kitchen. I'm going to use olive oil and really any oil that comes from a plant with a seed like avocado oil will do the trick. All we're going to do is pour a little bit on a cloth. Then just massage that into the handle. So we'll just rub that in to the wood that will keep it nice and conditioned for years to come. Another way to make your tools last as long as possible is to keep the blades and the metal parts rust free and lubricated. You can do that easily with a bucket of sand and some oil. Okay so here we have a bucket of sand this is about 12 inches deep we're going to simply add some motor oil on top of that. This is about a quart. Now we'll just mix it in. So after you're done gardening, just take your garden tools and plunge it into the bucket of oil and sand. All right, now we didn't do it that long, but look, you can clearly see the difference already. That is a beautiful shovel. The rust is gone, it's lubricated. I can almost see myself in it. Oh, my gray, wow. Not that I've been drinking during quarantine, but here's what you can do with all those wine corks. Just attach them to the bottom of your pitchfork, and then when you're planting your seeds in the garden, use this to drive the holes and space it out perfectly. Quinn, do you want to put a seed in those holes? Put one seed in every little hole. Start them young. They'll do all the work. Don't you hate when this happens? Big holes at the bottom of the pots lets the soil run out. It can really make a mess of your deck or patio. The answer, so take a coffee filter, placing it at the bottom of the pot, fill it up with soil, and the soil is contained. And my final hack of the day, take a gallon milk jug, one that's empty of course, and turn it into a gentle shower. Do that by taking off the lid, get a hammer, and a nail and pop some holes in this. Now, just let it rain. Well, hopefully these hacks have inspired you to get out there and save some green in the garden. I'm Rebecca, along with Quincy, staying safe in the garden.